What's up, homies? I'm just going to do an, uh, some neat little math tricks that I find kind of cool. Um, let's say your teacher is telling you to multiply these two numbers, and they're like, you know what, for whatever reason, you can't use a calculator, right? So you got 27 times 1.1. Doesn't seem too bad, um, but for people that don't really like math, this might be like, oh my gosh, and I can't use a calculator. Um, one thing you have to note is that 1.1 can be split into 1 plus 0 0.1, right? So, um, all I have to do is multiply 27 to 1, and then multiply 27 to 0.1, and then add them together, and that's basically this result. 27 times 1 is 27, plus um, uh, 2.7, right? And that's 27 times 0.1. Multiplying by 0.1 just means move the decimal over once to the left, and then you got 29.7. Bingo. Okay, um, so that's just a neat little math trick that I like. Um, you can do this with pretty much anything. Let's let's say we've got 400 and I don't know 30. Okay, 430 times 3.3. Okay, it's pretty straightforward and can't use your calculator, what you're going to do is you're going to go 430 times 3 plus 430 times 0.3. And remember this is just this guy being split into 3 plus 0 0.3. Notice this is all, all this is is just expansion, right? That's all it is. And then if I don't know this multiplication right here, I can split 430 further, right? So I could do 400 times 3 plus 30 times 3 plus 400 times 0.3 plus uh, 30 times 0.3. And if I wanted to, I could split that even further, right? And I'm going to show you how to do that, just because this is ballin', okay? So, uh, what is 400 times 3? If I don't know what 400 times 3 is, no problem. I know what 4 times 3 is, right? 4 times 3 is 12. So how do I get 400 times 3? You just tack on two zeros, all right? So it's going to be 1,200, okay? Now do the same trick. If you somehow don't know what 30 times 3 is, uh, what's 3 times 3? 9. So this is probably going to be a 0 tacked on. 90, right? And how do I get 400 times 0.3? Crap. Well, um, I know how to multiply by 0.1, right? So 400 times 0.1 is 40. I just moved the decimal over once to the left. 40. How do I get 400 times 0.3? multiply 40 by 3 because 0.1 uh, sorry 0.3 is 0.1 times 3 so so you end up getting uh, 40 times 3 which is 120 okay do the same trick over here um, 30 times 0.1 is 3 multiply by 3 and you get 30 by 0.3 and that is 9 bingo and now I just add them all together and um, let's see uh, I've got 1200 plus 120. Well, that one is going to go right here, and it's going to be 13. And then that two is going to go neatly over here. So far, I've got 1320. Okay. And so I have 1320, and this is all in steps. Now, what's 90 plus 9? That's 99, right? And I just do this in steps. Now, you could do the direct addition. What I would do here is another math trick, a little neat math trick that I like to do. Instead of taking 1320 and adding 99, why don't I do this? Why don't I go 1320 plus 100? Okay, and that's gonna be much easier to do. That just makes this number, the three, increase by one, right? So it's gonna be 1420, but to get 1320 plus 99, I just take away one, right? So it's going to be 1419 uh, done. 
And that is another set of cool math tricks that I think you should use. Don't, don't do more work than you should, right? So I hope this helps. Peace out. And actually tomorrow I'm getting a brand new camera. I know that this camera kind of sucks. It's a 720p HD Microsoft cam. And I am getting a Logitech C930, which is an HD um, recording, 1080p recording at 30 frames per second. So I hope that's much better. Um, you're going to see, you're probably going to better see um, me and it's going to be more a, a different aspect ratio. So it's going to be good. So stay tuned for that. Like us, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, support us. I really love doing these videos. Um, I really love helping you guys. This means a lot to me. Peace.